Season 2 of Black Clover Mobile has just dropped on Global and with it one of the best units in the game, the new Swimsuit Noel. And today we're going to be talking about how you guys should be gearing her, what skill cards you should be using, if you should be enhancing her, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at her skills. Starting with her primary skill or her skill 1, if an active barrier is present, attacks after granting a weapon enhancement level 1 buff this increases her damage dealt by 30 percent and she does get a barrier from her skill too she also gets a barrier from her passive potentially which means she's a lot of times going to get this weapon enhancement and do extra damage which is really really good and then if an active blessing of water is present attacks after granting a weapon enhancement level two so that damage gets increased by 40 percent more so or 40 percent total sorry it goes from 30 percent to 40 percent so that's a pretty good damage increase and then for skill two this one's the big skill that really does like everything for her kit it's really really important to understand this skill so i'm going to explain all of these different things over here on the right because there is so much going on it's very easy to get confused especially if you're a new player so uh grants a designated ally blessing of water equal to 120 percent of magic attack for two turns and so what blessing of water is it creates a barrier that provides immunity to a set amount of damage and triggers a counter attack upon taking damage if the enemy fails to remove the barrier with their initial attack a counter attack will be executed okay so blessing of water you want to put this on noel because as anytime a counter attack is executed it will use that character's primary skill and noelle's primary skill or skill one is an aoe okay you can put your counter attack or your blessing of water on any character but only that character will be the one to counter if they are attacked so let's say i put blessing of water here on like season one asta well season one asta doesn't have an aoe he would just use his first skill and attack one enemy that's why it's best to use blessing of water on noelle herself or on another character who has an aoe skill one and then grants all allies a barrier equal to 120 percent of magic attack for two turns you'll notice that both of these skills say equal to a certain percentage of magic attack we'll talk about why that's important here in a minute but a barrier is going to create a basically a shield that's going to protect you and your allies and then grants all allies a 10 percent increased favored damage dealt buff for two turns which is really really nice which means increases the damage dealt when the attack is favored so if it says like great attack it's the blue that means you're going to get even more damage added on by 10 percent for whichever ally is attacking which is really good for two turns and then grants an ally hp recovery equal to 50 percent a magic attack if they have an active barrier so she also heals in addition to doing barrier and countering and dps she can heal people uh, but you have to have your magic attack up to get more heals okay and then last but not least her uh, special skill attacks after granting an increased magic attack level 2 buff grants an increased magic attack level 2 buff for two turns okay so that's a 55 percent increase in her magic attack and that, that there's a lot to that and it's really really important and then last but not least her combined attack if a buff is present on self attacks after granting a 50 percent increased damage dealt buff so let me explain uh what all this is when it says grants all allies a barrier equal to a certain amount of magic attack grants uh a designated ally blessing of water equal to a certain amount of magic attack okay so magic attack is this stat right here Okay, it says M attack. And you can see that Noelle's magic attack is 28,455. It is not that high without gear. It is actually relatively low to start with compared to what you're going to want your magic attack to be. So I will explain the gearing here in a second because gearing matters immensely on Noelle, okay? But basically, you want to use her special skill first if you're able to in PvP or PvE. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase that number, 28,000, by 55%. And then on turn two, if you go and use your skill, uh, sorry, your skill two, 
then you will get a shield equal to 120% of whatever your magic attack is. So 28,455 increased by 55% will give us an even bigger shield on all our allies, making it more likely that we don't lose our shield when we're attacked and giving us more chances to counter attack and do more damage and also giving us a chance to heal more. Okay, so there's a lot going on there with that idea. So basically uh, gear, increase your magic attack with your gear and then use your special skill and then use your second skill and you'll be maximizing Noel's damage in the simplest way I can put it. Okay, but let's talk about what gear you need. So here is the gear page. I don't have any accessories yet. I'm still working on getting my accessories. I have finally gotten all LRs on a character. I got uh, like three or four characters now with all LRs. It's taken a while. It does take quite a while to grind out LRs, especially when you're working on as many different characters as I am right now on Global. And so what I focused on, and this is where it gets tricky for a lot of people. If people go into the info on different pieces of gear, they will see like this bonus here for having a set. So if you have two pieces of this particular gear, you'll get this bonus. If you have four pieces, you get this bonus. Do not worry about getting a gear set bonus. I mean, it's nice when you get them, but I feel like it's not necessary. The biggest thing you're looking at is what stat do you want to increase? And so when you look at Noelle's kit, you would see that she wants magic attack. So you're going to put as much magic attack on her as possible. So I am putting 17,000 additional magic attack on Noel just from my gear right here okay and I know not all my gear is plus 12 yet it takes a while to get all your gear to plus 12 especially when you're working on multiple characters so don't feel bad to put like UR or SSR like gear on your characters right now use what you need especially if you're a free-to-play player but make sure whatever you put on that it says magic attack so right here it says magic attack right here it says magic attack magic attack magic attack Magic attack. Okay, you guys get the idea. Make sure the primary stat on the gear, whatever gear you're putting on, is magic attack. That way you increase Noelle's damage to the maximum, you increase her healing to the maximum, and make her as useful as possible. Okay, now when it comes to enhancements, is it worth actually enhancing Noelle? I'm actually going to get her fully enhanced. I am not going to use these right here though to do it because I can still get a Noelle from the gateway. I, I, was, I was lucky enough to pull two copies of her in the summons. So I'm going to save two of these uh, for Julius because Julius is really good as well and I'll be doing a guide on him. But for the passives, what do you get? At the start of a wave grants, 10% of max HP as a barrier for two turns. And then if you go down here, if you enhance her five times, at the start of a wave grants, 15% of max HP as blessing of water for two turns, okay? the I mean, like, so notice the difference. This one is barrier, this one's blessing of water. And if we go back here, and we take a look at what Blessing of Water is, creates a barrier that gives immunity and triggers a counterattack. So if you enhance her all the way, right, the difference is now you'll be able to counterattack, but if you only have her enhanced up to two, you get a barrier, okay? So it's a, a little bit different for each. Now, in terms of how much of a barrier it gives you, 15% isn't a lot, so you might not even get a chance to trigger the counterattack from Blessing of Water because it it's going to depend on how much HP you have, all right? And if you're building her right, you're not going to be building her with a ton of HP. Uh, she starts with 46,000. Well, she doesn't start with 46,000. She has a little bit more from uh, the gear. Where is HP? So she's only getting 1,000. She starts with like 45,000, okay? But yeah, you're not going to be getting a massive, massive shield from her enhancements. So as far as enhancing goes, I would say uh, it's not really worth it to just enhance her up to two. It is worth it more if you're going to enhance her up to five because you do get Blessing of Water, which is different. But as far as it being necessary, like especially as a free to play, I would say it's not necessary, but it helps a lot and it obviously increases your overall CC. So like that's nice as well. And it just it just really depends on you and what you want to do and kind of where you're at in the game. Are you free to play? Are you pay to play? Me, myself being pay to play, uh, I am going to be fully enhancing her if I can. And then I'm actually going to be enhancing Julius when he comes out, uh, not all the way, but only up to his second enhancement, at least for now. Eventually I'll get him all the way, but I'm going to use those two extra uh, versatile SSR pieces that I have to enhance Julius. Okay. So if we go to Noel skills, uh, you'll see that I have her skill card on her right now. Is her skill card good? Um, I would potentially say not really. Okay, so 25% chance to grant a barrier equal to 5% of damage taken for two turns 
upon taking damage. That's a very small percentage, like 25% to actually get the barrier, and it's only 5% of damage taken. It's such a minuscule, tiny amount of barrier that I don't think it's really worth it. Noelle's skill card, honestly, isn't that good of a skill card. Now, I have it on her just because it's the skill card I have, but if I had this other skill card, this is the skill card I'd put on her, and that is Breath of Darkness. I don't have it yet, but when I do get it, I it'll probably go on Noel. So what this does is it applies a 10 to 20% increased all attack to yourself, and this includes attack and magic attack, okay, to be clear. So this card is like really well designed for Noel because it's going to increase her magic attack even further, which is what we've been talking about this whole time, and make her even better, right? So this is probably the best like SSR skill card you could put on her. There are some free to play uh, SR and rare skill cards that do similar things. I'm not gonna actually show those here, but yeah, you could also use those free to play options, but that is like the best SSR option. I would argue for Noel, even into the later seasons, it's going to be one of the better options. So that would be the skill card I probably put on her. And then as far as leveling up her skills, which skill should you focus on primarily? I would say uh, her special skill and her skill. Well, this one's like a tricky one. It's so hard to say because uh, I, I would say skill two. I would say skill two, focus or skill two, and then I would say primary skill. Special skill actually probably last. So skill two, because you're going to want to just increase how much uh, barrier you get, because you get barrier plus 20% at level three, barrier plus 20% at level five, barrier plus 20%. Oh, sorry, that's blessing on water at level five. Blessing on water at level five, which is really good. Okay, so you want to increase your blessing of water and barriers, which is really, really important. And then this is really good because for counterattacks, the higher level you have skill one, the more damage you're going to be able to do on your counter attacks. And then so right here, I mean, they're all important. It's so hard to say, OK, but special skill. I don't know. Uh, special skill uh, increases your magic attack, as you can see, by 12 percent. So I, it's really hard to say which one to prioritize, but I would say skill two at least should be first. And then from there, I guess you can pick or choose between skill one or special skill, whichever one you think is going to be more important. Probably special skill. I'd probably go skill two, special skill, skill one. Okay. That's, that's my final answer. I had to think about it because skill two is going to increase your barrier uh, and your blessing of water. Skill one is also going to increase your barrier and your blessing of water because it's going to increase your magic attack, thereby increasing your barrier and then skill one go for damage, you know? So these two for barrier slash blessing of water, if you want to increase those, give you more survivability and then increase skill one if you want to do more damage. There you go. There's your priority. It took me a minute to get there, but we got there. So let's take a look at potential teams for Noel that she could fit on. So if I go over here to manage team, uh, this is probably not the team I would use. Let me go ahead and do this. So I would actually keep Sally. Sally is solid. I would throw Noel on the team. Nobody hurts my I actually really like Rodis on the team with Noel. Understand my power soon. And then another potential character you could throw on is like a speed character. You could do Finral or Valtos. It doesn't really matter. But for PvP, this is a potential team you could run. So the reason I put these characters together is Sally increases magic attack. You can increase Noel magic attack uh, have her get more barriers you can run a barrier with noel you can also run a barrier with radis and then you just have a crap ton of barriers on these characters so even though valtos and uh sally might be relatively weak usually and die easily uh the barriers between these two and the increased magic attack from sally is going to just make this team really really annoying so that's a potential team you could run with Noel. Another potential team is to run like Mars and uh, Lotus. Who dares get in Let me my way. switch these because this looks weird. Mars and Lotus with Noel and Radis. This is a lot of defense. And so then you get Noel's barrier added in on top of it and her just counter attacking and doing damage. And it is very hard for enemies to kill you in PVP. This is a really solid team and a really good option. I'm not running this currently in PVP myself because Radis is only uh, Radies, Radis. I still call him Radis. Okay. I just, I, I, when I originally watched Black Clover to clear up, I watched it and subbed. And so now I'm rewatching it and dubbed. And I realized, even though it's spelled Radis, I want to be clear about that. It is spelled that way. They say Radies. Okay. So Radies, uh, man, it's so weird to say, but Radies is not LR for me. So I'm not running this team in uh, PVP yet, but I, this is probably one of the teams I will start to run in PVP because it's pretty good. I'll try out. I'll probably 
try using Sally a little bit too and see how Sally works and stuff like that. I will do a separate video, like a showcase on actually running different teams with Noel and stuff like that. But this, the goal of this video was just to give you guys an idea of what gear and talents and stuff like that to work on. And then last but not least, besides those teams, I did forget to talk about the talents. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna backtrace here for a second. Hey, let's be buddies. Okay. And talk about Noel's talents. So if we go to her talent page, I don't really have much done on her talents, but as far as attack talents go, there is one that increases magic attack. Okay. So you want the magic attack talent for sure on the attack ones. So you'll probably go like this and you'll have increased crit rate at the start of a wave, which is pretty good. Those two together, I would say are the best for Noel. Def uh, defense wise, if we look over here, uh, you can just do any defense, but I like this one. Defense plus 20, grants defense plus four and crit resist. I, I like that on most characters actually, as opposed to any of these other ones. I mean, any of these are potentially good. If you want to give yourself extra max HP, I guess that could increase your barrier if you have a fully enhanced Noel. So you could use that potentially and it might be better, but that just depends on you. And then for support, grants a SP plus one buff upon having less than two SPs. That's okay. Damage resist plus 10%, 20% uh, chance to grant skill two cooldown by one turn, buff at the start of turn. That's actually pretty solid. That could be really useful on Noel, knowing what her skill two does. And then accuracy and penetration, grants debuff immunity, HP recovery received. So, I mean, yeah, I would probably actually go like this on Noel. These would probably be good. Damage resist plus 10%, give her more survivability, and then 20% chance to grant a reduced skill two cooldown. And I feel like those, those are probably the optimal talents for noel so there you go there is noel's gear her skill page her skills her enhancement her talents and her teams let me know what you guys think down in the comments are you guys excited to use her did you pull her in your summons i hope you did and if you guys enjoyed the video please consider going down there hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching peace Maybe.